Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Well, the day is finally here. Today, our collaboration videos are posted. I'm very excited because this is my very first collaboration and I'm doing it with four other great artists. So today, my portion of the video is going to be a Dutch pour. And the colors that we all chose, again, were orange, blue, yellow, gold, and red. So today I'm going to do a split canvas. It's going to be white at the top and I'm going to do an orange base. So this is going to be fun. So I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll get started. Be right back. Okay. So what I've got here is a 20 by 24 canvas. I've made sure that it is level on all sides and in the middle. <clears throat> I've painted the lower portion where the orange is going to go. Um, I'm going to start here from the left and just move over here to the right. Make it just a slight upward angle. Uh, today's paints that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using uh, Amsterdam's Titanium White. And I'm going to be using Artist Law, or excuse me, uh, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange. So here's the orange. I mixed this up last night, so it got to sit overnight. And then of course the white. Now, I usually use Artist Law Flow Acrylic White, but there's a problem with their formulation right now. And um, every time I uh, use my mixture of Floetrol paint and water, I'm getting tiny cells. Um, so we've all the other artists have been speaking about this on YouTube and Facebook. And there is a problem because uh, another artist, Canela Sirocco, did a tester piece where she used some old, old bottles like early 2020 versus the older, these newer bottles that we're using that were produced in De uh, November, December 2020. And you can definitely see a difference in the mixture. There's something going on. So I've decided to use Amsterdam's Titanium White. Then the other colors today I'm going to be using is uh, Amsterdam's Prussian Blue, Artist Loft Metallic Red, Deco Arts 24 Karat Gold. Can't go wrong with that one. I'm also going to sprinkle in some uh, more titanium white with, throughout the colors. Um, Amsterdam's Azo Yellow Deep. And then I'm going to top it all off with Pebio Iridescent Blue Green. Um, so this is going to be a huge challenge because of a couple of reasons. One, I have never done a orange base. So that's challenge number one. Challenge number two is I'm going to do a traditional Dutch pour where I pour out the base colors. I pour out the colors that I'm going to use and then I'm going to use the base to pour over top of the colors and then blow them out. Um, so there's a lot of factors happening here. So I can't wait to get started. Um, like I said, it's a 20 by 24 canvas and I have it all leveled. So let's get started. We're going to pour out the colors. So as I said, I'm going to make a very small diagonal line here. And it's not going to be perfect. Um, as long as I get that line up to there is fine. And I do know for a fact this orange is a little bit thicker than my white. <clears throat> so that's going to be interesting to see how these colors pour out. I want to make sure I get enough paint on the canvas, but not too much. And then the white is going to go up here at the top. I want to do my best not to have the colors white and orange cross here when I'm blowing them out. Probably, maybe it might be better if I just use a spatula, but I'm not. I'm live on the on the danger side. Let's blow this out. Oh, 
All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'll just touch up my sides here where the white's gonna be. And get the corners. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how the difference between the titanium white versus the artist loft performs on this piece. Because all my pieces have been with the artist loft. And so I'm gonna see the difference. And the problem is, is using the artist loft is the cheaper way to go. I get it from Michaels and I buy it in a pro pack now, not every country has the Pro Pack available to them, but here in the U.S., one bottle of white runs $9.99. Now, um, uh, Michaels has coupons. Always, They always have a 20% coupon going on, so you basically get 20% off um, the Artist Loft, so it's not $9.99. However, if you buy it in the Pro Pack, you get six bottles, and it comes out to be, I believe, $5.23 per bottle. So, when you're doing a lot of pouring like I'm doing, uh, it is much cheaper to use Artist Loft. In any case, we'll see how well this comes out. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the colors along the line here. Then I'm going to use some white to pour beside those colors. I'm going to use some orange, maybe. I don't know. See how this goes. Might pour some orange here. So I'm going to blow the orange over, blow the white over, and then we'll blow out. But I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. We'll see. All right. Got plenty of orange. Got plenty of white left over. All right. Let's get started with pouring out the colors.
white doesn't have a lot, so that's good.
Okay, guys, here we go. I really am just loving this piece. Um, so the idea was, is I wanted to make sure it kind of matched up. So I've got equal parts of negative space in the orange, equal negative parts of the white. I've got two upper petals. I got two lower petals, and then I've got the sides. Let me take you in. I'm just absolutely loving this piece. So you've got wonderful lacing throughout this. You get the cells. Wow. I mean, look at these things. Zero silicone, just Floetrol paint and water. Um, but, you know, I've got one, two colors that, excuse me, three colors that are metallic and or iridescent. So that helps make the cells. You know, I'm not a huge fan of making traditional Dutch pours by pouring the base colors over. But I, this is like the third one I've done in a matter of a week and a half. And I'm just very, very happy with the results. <clears throat> now, I've already torched. I did that off camera. I didn't do that on camera, guys. So I torched for more air bubbles just to make sure. And also here, you can see where I blew this petal up. You can see where it, the white mixed. And so you're getting these tiny cells of color popping up un, from under the white. So that's really making that... Uh, you're seeing this, these little tiny microscopic cells like that of color popping back through. That's because of the white that I blew over. Overall, very happy with this piece. I hope you guys like it. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to show you what it looks like dry. And then, of course, after it dries, I'm going to put a coat of crystal resin on it. So, Okay, guys, here is the dried result. Um, I'll bring you in to show you. Absolutely stunning. The colors held together. There wasn't a lot of muddying up. I didn't get a lot of green, you know, because green wasn't necessarily one of our colors. You see some green in there, but it's not a lot. Um, but this piece just came out fantastic. And once I get some crystal clear resin on this, whoo, look at all the cells you got here. I mean, just beautiful this came out, amazing. Oops, don't, there we go. There's the cells. It's wet right here in the middle. It's kinda, you can kinda see the glare right there. So I don't wanna hang out too long. But this is my collabor collaboration piece with the other four artists. I'm so happy I was able to take part in this. So this piece will be for sale. If you're interested in it, just email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. For those of you who already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, give me some likes if you like what you're seeing. That will help support my channel. Also, don't forget to go to everybody else's channel. The links are in the description below. I can't thank the other artists enough. Yen. Lori, Sarah, and Dave. It was great to collaborate with these four other artists. It was so much fun. I hope we can do it again. Okay, everybody, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.